Hello citizens of Basilia Romine and welcome to the Frontiers we're playing in the Purple Phoenix Rise mod in Europe and Rusalis 4 by Dorby. So let's dive right in. I haven't played the save in a long, long time, so I expect expect unforeseen consequences, let's put it that way. What is this what is this Tema doing here? Get your ass to Macedonia. Okay, let's observe what is going on here. So we have our advisors set. Mm, we're not warning anyone. Hmm. Do we really want to progress in the Empire? I think we pretty much do. The HRE must go. HRE must go. How do we do this? So we would need to get four electors to become dependent on us. So Bohemia is our ally and thus is dependent on us. Uh, Cologne is one of Austria's allies. So is Trier. So if we, if we were to declare a war on Austria we would be able to make those two dependent on us. Now Saxony is also allied to France and finally Brandenburg prefers Bohemia. Are you allies with Bohemia? You are um, you have no relationships with anyone. Bohemia really? I mean not Bohemia, Brandenburg really? Hmm. Let us stop in relations with Wallachia. I understand that I want to get them vassalized, but right now I think you need a loan. Not in need of any loan, huh? Hmm. Austria will protect them. France will join, but France is of no use to me right now. Somehow we must get our hands on Brandenburg. Well, we might as well get them allied to us. I see no reason not to get them allied. In that case, let's improve relations with them. Relations, very good. They shouldn't like Austria too much. They don't like Saxony too much. That means if Saxony joins a war against us, they will be eager to join. That is very good. Oh, we could reform the imperial government. The type of government changes to Principate Empire. We can reform our government and reintroduce Principate. It was the first period of the Roman Empire extending from the beginning of the reign of Augustus says Caesar. Court painter available. Yes, please. Introduce Padea Regia. Lose one stability, but yearly gain 10 prestige and some yearly legitimacy forever, basically. And we spend 100 ducats and we lose 50 admin power and we lose one stability. Mirror for princes. Hmm. I will think about this. What do I need for that? I need legitimacy. Aha, uh -huh, I see. What do I need for this? Diplomatic power, stability at least two, natural scientist. Aha. Uh -huh. Reform imperial government. Do I want to? Do I want to? Revoltress, war exhaustion, diplomatic relations, I get versus morale of armies, core creation cost, and unjustified demands. The thing is, I like morale. I really, really do. But monthly war exhaustion. And diplomatic relations. Diplomatic relations will help me a lot. Mm, yeah, I think it I think it goes along my playstyle pretty well. Yeah, let's reintroduce that. 
great. Okay, so now I think we should think about getting this. So we have to save enough diplomatic power. Mm -hmm. Very good. Delightful. Our emperor is kind of meh. It's not. It's not too bad. It's not too great. Uh, if we save up some, oh well, never mind. By changing the government form, I just lost like half of my legitimacy. Oh well. Yeah, this is gonna slow our annexations. Alas. He totally would like to vassalize, I think. Yep. Just gonna improve relations with them for a bit. Administrative Senator swindles the treasury. Ah, oh, that event. Come on. Ah, oh, one stability. Yeah, that's fine. Some inflation. We're reducing our inflation, like, constantly. We are master of the mint. I don't really want to swap him for anyone just yet. He's just too good! Because he's the master of the mint. So he rose to throne in Karaman. And he's diplomatic. Well, I bet he's 52, so I hope he dies soon. We can keep on conquering Ottoman's lands. Yes, yes. Did you. No, he did not make an evil actor yet. Plus 17. He would not take a royal marriage. Well then, whatever. We'll keep that out for now. This is unfortunate, though. Improve relations with Valakia, then. Ba -ba -ba. Relations. Improve. Yes. Delightful. This is going to be done in two years, and this is going to be done in 14 years. We have a little war exhaustion? We have some. Thankfully, with our new Principate Empire, this will not be issue for, for long. Mm, Bohemia is peaking, picking on Pomerania, apparently. They're allied with Bohemia, so that's good. Who do you hate? You hate Saxony and Halt and Lüneburg. Can I afford to swap one of my rivals? Let's see here. I'm rivaling Spain for France, right? Yes. I'm rivaling Hungary. And I'm also rivaling Burgundy. Now, Burgundy here. I don't need to rival you anymore. I don't think I, I don't think I do. Let's unrival you and set Saxony as a rival. Hopefully, this will bring Brandenburg on my side faster because I kind of want them as an ally for this dismantle HRE thing. So Cologne, Saxony, and Trier are all Austria's allies. So if I would have, so I would uh, get a CB on Austria. I would be able to dismantle the empire. Yes, that sounds great. Or use them again, power. Hmm. Can't say I like it. Well, at least I can take advantage of the build cost. Or not. I need march. Maybe pick pick on Hungary. No, they have too many, too many treaties with with us. I say we wait until we annex Sicily and then we deal declare war on uh, the Ottomans. And yes, yeah, so we need to catch up on that. Oh, seriously, we've been spending so much power. I mean, we, we weren't spending it, we weren't really getting enough power to do it, to do hardly anything. 
Ah, uh, generalist died. Mm, that's unfortunate. Do we really need Aureus Demi in power? Mm. I guess we could keep him. I don't think it's going to be done in, uh, wait, it's going to be, no, it is, no, it's, pr it's pretty much right, it's pretty much right. I just can't count. <laughs> hmm. Marvelous, marvelous. Alzass is now of religious unity with Austria. Ha! And maybe if we could, like, force him to give back some calls. Yes, yes, that would be delightful. It would be most useful. Pretty sure we have a CB on them, though. Oh, we don't. We don't actually have a CB on Austria. That's bad. That's not good at all. Support the reform. Oh. Anhalt is at war with Brandenburg and Altenburg. Okay, I see. Trier on their alliance with Utrecht. Now we gotta prepare a little bit more for this war. Neutral attitude thing is really annoying. We, it, like, it's enemy of enemy bonus with us. You should be like. Oh, that's very good, Prezinoi Deme. That's one of my favorite Demes, actually. You should be like willing to uh, ally with such a powerful nation as mine, but nope. For some reason, he's not. He's not really happy about it. They don't understand. Oh, look at that. There is a new elector, and it's mines. Hmm. Coincidentally, it is an ally of Austria. <laughs> so he has four electors as our allies. He's too dumb to make them vassals. Oh, a new guy in Karaman. And, uh, yeah, he's a diplomat. Well, that's unfortunate. At this rate, <laughs> my vassal Karaman will be stronger than Hotman's in no time. I mean, look at him. Well, not right now, but after some wars, I think he will be strong enough. <laughs> Singing totally out of sync. Singing totally out of sync. Singing totally out of sync. Sing totally out of sync. Ah, alone. Mm -hmm. Austria is in a war. In a war against Lüneburg, Saxon purge of Lüneburg in heresy. Uh -huh. Come on. Ah, very good. Now, Sicily is a part of Basilia Romayan. Delightful, isn't it? Now we have access to their five units. Yay! Hooray for five units. For galleys and one transport. Can we even afford to keep them? Hmm. Fortunately, we actually can. Okay, so let's get him over here. You are protecting trade node Tunis. Do we need that? Nah. Let's protect trade node... Um, Oh, we have the most power in Trade Node Tunis? <laughs> How? What the? We control only this piece of land and we have most power in Tunis, even though Portugal is here? It doesn't re... It unfortunately, it doesn't feed into my Venice Trade Node, so I, I'm not really... I'm 
not really excited about that. You know what? P patrol Constantinople. Yep, that sounds nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, our diplomat is back from Sicily. Let's see, do we have... No, we don't have a CB. Hmm. Wallachia, France and Bohemia will all join our war. That is very good. I just need a claim on them. Let's get a claim on Friuli. Hmm. Wallachia. Me, you, my vassal. Sounds nice. You and I would make a great, great family. Don't you think so? Good boy. It's like, yeah, I agree to become your duke. <laughs> Little does he know. Little does he know. Okay, now we have a free diplomat to keep improving relations with Brandenburg. I think we need to do that. They're still neutral. Feeling lucky. Yay, we go, we won the gamble. Yay. Guess now we can build a march, can we? Yay, we can. I think we should build it... In Mantua. Yep, sounds good. Aren't we accepting Lombard? Yeah, we are accepting Lombard. Yep. Very good. Very good. We are we paying our... Why are we paying our armies this much? We could be like floating in cash right now, but instead we're like, eh. It's whatever. At least our armies are well fed. Trade dispute? Oh, well, I don't need a claim, I guess. Okay. So, let us check for one more time, shall we? Currently, France owns the largest army in the entire world. Austria is at 45k. I am right below them with 41k. Hmm. Can I get access through Hungary in any way? Yes, that's easily so. So if I would have to, would have declared war on Austria right now. I would end up at war with a lot of people, mostly worried about Lithuania and Poland. I'd also end up at war with Milan and Savoy. Both France and Bohemia would both would join. Delightful. I say we start the war. Bump up our army maintenance and then we start our war. I understand it makes like no sense at all to lower army maintenance only to raise it. Okay, these are all my vassals. And I got revolts. Catholic Zealots. Yeah, that's nasty. Fall back to Rome for now. So there goes France. We the, they joined our side. And did Bohemia join our side? Ah, they're already at war with Austria. Okay, I see. Mm hmm. Now we wait a little bit and then we ask for access from Hungary. Good, good. And now we move our troops. Move our troops to Rome and then we deal with the rebels. And then we deal with Austria. Because for now, well. Okay, so Austria, Anhalt, Mainz, Lithuania, Poland, Saxony, Trier, Cologne, and Savoy on our side. With. Now, who is. Are you at war with Austria? You're at war with Utrecht, Anhalt, and Trier. Hmm. I don't think they will be. Yeah. Elector Brandenburg is still independent. Damn it. Would we have to actually declare war on Brandenburg? You cannot declare a war on the member of the Empire if you're already at war with the Emperor. Hmm. How do we handle this? 
Did Milan not join? They did not join. So Milan decided to ditch Austria. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. So Bohemia is having a rough time up here. We have roughly comparable amount of troops. Uh, I think it's going to be a little bit of a tough war. Let's put our blockade out. Rosioide, man. Well, that's uh, actually a nice, ti nice timing. Good. Monthly war exhaustion reduction, discipline, manpower recovery. Yep, exactly what I need for a war. Mm -hmm. We've blown up some trade ships. I think I'm paying full maintenance for my fleets, so... Yep, we obliterated the entirety of Austria's fleets. It is very good, but it doesn't really matter, but I guess they got some more evolution. The blockade percent is 100%. Born Holland defected to Denmark. Okay. I guess you do. Now with Savoy, I don't think we actually need anything from them. Maybe we should, like, well, we cannot even vassalize them. So I guess we don't need anything from them then. From them then, from them then, from them then, from them then, from them then. I cannot declare war on them. Hmm. Not exactly what I expected. Not exactly what I was planning. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate and possibly subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.